Everything around the three-point line. Johnson strings the three. Perfect start for Plymouth. Bit of a slip there for Lucas, but Fly is able to keep possession. And Lucas trying to get those three back, and it's a great start. Well, not so. Inside to Wiley on the turnaround. But he's only averaging 10 points a game across the five games he's played. Johnson fires up the three, and that one rattles in for Keedy Johnson. What doesn't help is Taylor Johnson's nickname is TJ, and they've already got a TJ on the team. In the corner is Dusha, and he knocks down the three. Good job by Dusha when he has his feet set. Good hands to deflect that away. Plymouth in the open court, getting all the way to the basket. And this has been a free-flowing start. Offense is on top at the minute. Their last couple of games obviously lost a few, but they've been by small margins. Oh, I saw Faulkner is a good tip in. Oh, he didn't go for green. They will get a chance to go for a three-point play there. Well, you can, that's on the British Basketball League YouTube channel as well. You can dual screen or Split screen, whichever way you want to go, but make sure you keep the volume on this side. That's all we're saying. Here's Atwood driving through. You know you're going to get when you come to the pavilions. The crowd really gets into the game. They really enjoy their basketball down here. And when their team is flowing, there's no better sound. Back up top to LVC. Shot clock down to six. It's into Atwood. Gets it away, and that will count. Found his call, TJ Atwood going to the line. He finished and great poise by the Patriots with the clock running down. Look at this, sticks with it and gets the hit by Green. Yep, it is a foul. We get to see it, uh, the Sharks win. But it's, they've been small margins, you know, against Manchester, four points, against the Riders, which they should have won, seven points. They're getting better and better. A good response, though. Easily the most in the game. Gets here a lot, makes a lot of free throws as well, but not on that occasion. But his captain gets the rebound, and Trajan Jacob knocks down the triple. Faulkner rocking and rolling, trying to shake past Thomas Edwards. He does, and he dishes it off as well. Lovely assist for Dangakoda. Calls for the screen. Turns the corner, hooks it back out to Atwood, and he strokes the three. What a lovely offense. Referee Gavin Williams about that last play. And DeAndre Johnson forcing that one home. Bristol, what they do behind the scenes as well as coaching and playing. Nice pass inside, and Atwood is able to uh, convert. Here's Dusha, stolen away by Samuels. Empty possession there by Plymouth, not looking after the ball. And, uh, knows how to get it done. And he's often a player that they go to late in the game. He can make big shots. It's Thomas Edwards, the captain. Here's Atwood. Atwood firing up. That is not an easy shot. He makes it look easy. YouTube channel. They've got just under four minutes to play in that one. And don't forget to subscribe, to subscribe even to the uh, were able to recover before he got the shot. Here's Green, tosses it in. And that is the first points of the game for Brad Green. Hamilton backs out. Now he looks to attack late in the shot clock, throws it up and in. Faulkner spinning baseline, getting all the way to the rim and laying it in for two. Wonderful finish from the start of the season. You know, it's a long, it's a long time. So the first game obviously disappointed. They lost to Bristol. Now it's their time to get their own back. Nice pass cross court. And I don't know where. Graham Bell to the turnaround. Oh, that's nice. Really nice. Dusha trying to bat it out. Bristol come away with it. And oh, what a rejection! Taylor Johnson chasing it back. Gets his own rebound under pressure. 
can't convert. Smith with the quick outlet. Johnson out in front. Johnson will give Bristol the lead. Down low to Green. And Graham Bell. Lucas scoops it up and finds the bottom of the net. Taylor Johnson forcing his way to the basket. Plymouth get it back. Faulkner will talk about his shooting struggles in the first half. That's the perfect way to start the second. Find out that fan's name. You know, the lights are off, but somehow <laughs> he manages to get showed. I love it. The intensity from him. Oh, good defense from Wiley to deny Green, but he stuck with it. Lucas uh, Johnson wasn't quite expecting it, but he was able to reach it anyway. Deep three from Ollison, front iron, comes out to Lucas. Lucas under pressure is able to... Taylor Johnson. Ollison ran out of room there. Taylor Johnson for three, knocks it down. Three much needed points for the Plymouth City Patriots. They both made five, but Bristol have done it far more efficiently. Graham Bell, hand in his face. Yeah, he knocks wow. it down anyway. Dusha with a great, oh, just through the hands. It's a good spot, but they couldn't execute it. His Lucas, uh, sorry, Jacob staring it down. Green looking to go to work. And he gets a friendly bounce off the back iron. Big punch of the air from his coach as well. Yeah, Lucas with the rebound. Graham Bell's going to take the three and he knocks it down. And well, they used to cheer his name. 12 unanswered points for the Flyers. And here is. Uh, they're captain <laughs> to make it. <laughs> oh, nice pass. And the run continues. Rebounds for the Flyers in part because Plymouth has shot the ball so badly. And there we go. That's what they needed. Finally, it's taken over. Oh, it's gone in. Johnson. Driving to the basket, hit from in front and behind. Look at this highlight. Takes his steps. Pretty much three guys come to him, gets hit on the head. Beautiful ankle here. I don't know where the jump free throw line. Yeah, struggling from the free throw line. Eight for 16. And they're still in love with the three point shot, but that would get them two. Samuels gets the rebound. Well, they've left Ollison open, and that's a dangerous thing to do. He's got plenty of time to... Completely dried up. Well, if you think about it, the uh, nice shot at the top of the key. They were so free-flowing early, early on. Well, that third quarter also, we spoke about it, absolutely killed them. Bristol scored 27, and they only scored 12. Oh, another three for Ollison, and it's their fans who... Uh, Certainly looking the happier in this building. Uh, two bites there. at the cherry. There is the double double because he's got two rebounds there, Atwood. To try and get Plymouth back into this game. Nice pass. Smith with the lay in, but kicks it out. Faulkner for three. Off the back of the iron. Flyers out in the open court. Ollison on the trail lays it in. Lovely. Pass. Johnson cutting to the basket. Taylor Johnson, he lays it in. Lucas on to Wallison. Johnson on the turnaround. And building a 20 plus point lead, having trailed by as many as nine in the first half. Keedy Johnson to the basket, and they just continue. Win number 500 is coming today for Paul James. But, I mean, when you look at Paul James's coaching numbers, it is incredible. 
He was a player before that, and actually he even played before um, foul call basket is good and there'll be a bonus coming. PJ played before the British Basketball League in basketball. Of anybody I'm not related to, I should probably clear up as that one uh, knocks down. I'm sure the Flyers uh, social team will be devising something appropriately cheeky for the end of the game. Well, 20 minutes pretty much, but definitely for the first quarter. But they're going to still end up on the wrong end of a heavy... Div oh, my goodness, how has he knocked that shot down? Not me, I would have It was good hands as well yeah. from, from Gavin yeah. Williams there to catch that one. But, yeah, I'm with you. I was looking... Uh, maybe that's a bit too aggressive, but Gavin was happy enough with it. Wiley with the mid-range knocks it down, but has to go up here with the shot clock getting low. Top of the board. They it's the a shoot. Oh, they've reset the shot clock. They shouldn't have reset the shot clock there. Shouldn't really have had, but I don't suppose it much matters. Here's Atwood. Uh, sorry, Johnson for three, and that will do it for this ball game. A big second half from the Bristol Flyers.